coronavirus restrictions have been challenging for senior citizens with how they can interact with friends and family. And this has been going on for nearly a year. But one local community is saying things are getting closer to normal as a celebrity chef taught some residents how to cook. Reporter Julio Avila shows us what's next. It was an exclusive session for these senior citizens at Westminster Canterbury. They had a virtual cooking lesson from celebrity chef Jet Tila. From the very beginning of the pandemic, uh, we recognized that we needed to be innovative. Now, after months of virtual sessions, the senior citizens community is allowing some in-person sessions with social distancing and face coverings still required. The community's CEO, Ben Uncle, says the residents have received their COVID-19 vaccines. Beyond that, it's back to life as normal. Here. We were designed as social creatures and we need to be in community and we need to be connected. For months, the residents had to connect using tablets, tune in through TV channels specific to the community, or by phone. We knew we needed people to be connected, but we also knew that some people just won't ever use a computer. Residents today were no doubt connected through some technology with their prepackaged ingredients in hand as Tila taught them how to make teriyaki chicken. And if you're there, we're on Zoom right now, but if, if I give you something that I have the exact same thing, we're more connected. There's a mental connection. He's appeared on cooking shows such as Chopped and Iron Chef America and has visited the senior community three times. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there in person. So, you know, we've all shifted during pandemic and I've actually done quite a few of these virtual demonstrations piped across the world. If all goes to plan, he says he may be back sometime later this year to visit in person. That I'm excited about. I'm glad our seniors and our community members are going to be back to normal before we will. In Virginia Beach, Julio Avila, News 3.